Hey, Jeffrey Zagarian here. We are making guacamole. Real, simple, base level guacamole. What does that mean? No tomato, no garlic, none of those things. This is the base. So if you wanna add extra stuff, you can, but learn this, because this is such a good recipe. So, I have a mortar and pestle here. And in this mortar and pestle, which, uh, which is just a way to press the herbs together, it's really good. I put some uh, cilantro, some onion, and salt. To that, I'm gonna add some chili pepper. Now you see I left some of the seeds in. It depends on how spicy you like it. But this is where the magic happens. We are just gonna mash up these. It's very unusual to do this. I don't think anyone's seen this before, but this is how you get all the flavor out of the onion. Because a lot of times when you eat guacamole, you taste the onion, it's chunky. You don't really get the flavor of it because it doesn't have enough time to sit in the guac. This way, we make a paste out of that. It's really delicious. So, salt, chili, onion, and about two or three tablespoons of cilantro for like two or three avocados. We're gonna make a paste out of it. We're not gonna mash it completely, all right? And we're gonna add it to our bowl. And that's the secret. Okay, right in here. You can already smell it. It smells like nothing would ever happen if you just added these as is, un unmushed and mashed wouldn't have that flavor. So to this, we're gonna add some more cilantro. Just chop herbs and stems and the herb also, because with cilantro, you can use the stem. The stem is where all the flavor is unusual. Then we're gonna add our avocados. Now, a lot of people chop them up. I like to add them whole like that, or just crush them with your hand. And they sort of mash, so you don't have to touch the actual avocado, the actual flesh, just like that. See how easy that is? And make sure they're ripe. These are really ripe. If they are not ripe, and I always buy avocados, a lot of them at the same time, but I buy various types and ripenesses so that some are ripe, some are half ripe, some are not, some are hard. So I know I always have avocados ready to go at all times because I love gazpacho for happy hour. It's one of my favorite foods. Okay, we have our gazpacho. Oh, I'm sorry, we have our guacamole ready to go. We have our salt. Remember, we mashed it up in there, so you're not gonna add too much more, just a touch more salt. Now, a little bit of lime juice. Now, people use vinegar, white vinegar, but I think the lime juice really adds something special. Okay, lime juice. Chips are ready. A large fork, and just mash it. You don't wanna put this in a blender, because the texture of the avocado is what it's all about. Now remember, we have those mashed onions, and avocado, and chili, and cilantro all in there already, and then the fresh cilantro on top of that. Now you see how beautifully textured that is? That's where I stop. I don't go any further than that because I think the texture was where it's all about. Let's take a taste. Now I'm using uh, these spinach kale chips. You don't have to. You can use blue corn tortilla, white corn tortilla, or anything fried. A chip is great. Mm. If you do this method, I guarantee you, you will never taste a guacamole so good. Cheers.